Good morning. It's important to know to not fight and to stay away from people who are easy to anger. And we should always be able to hold our temper if anything bad happens. And stay away from places where anger people who are easy to fighting and anger are. So if someone starts bullying you, and don't let me get started on bullying, you have to tell an adult. But if they attack you, you have to know how to defend yourself. And martial arts can help you with this a lot. And Jiu-Jitsu is one of the best martial arts in self-defense. So they say if you have Jiu-Jitsu, a, a, a little kid, if he knows Jiu-Jitsu, he can beat a bigger, stronger opponent. And that's enough of me talking. Let's go and see some professionals from Five Peaks Academy. Let's go to Coach Mark. Um, thank you for making time for us, and I'm thankful to be here. Um, what is Jiu Jitsu's role in anti bullying and self defense? Great question. Uh, here at Five Peaks, uh, we push very much so the self-defense, and a lot of our students are children here, so we do give them um, the tools they need to fight both physically and uh, mentally against bullies. Uh, we don't condone fighting. We teach them more so to defend themselves. So we don't want them to take an aggressive stance against bullies, more of a defensive. Um, we have uh, de-escalation tactics. So we, we encourage them to speak to the bullies, right? Try, trying to de-escalate the situation before it gets physical. And then at that point, if the bullies do become physical, we have the techniques and with proper training and uh, execution, those techniques will help them uh, defend themselves against bullies if the situation does occur. And so my second question will be, so, is Jiu-Jitsu only about physical and mental, uh, physical skills, or does it also have um, mental lessons and values? Very good question. Thank you for asking that. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is not only physical. There are a lot of lessons involved or uh, lessons learned during the training. Um, problem solving. Okay, in Jiu-Jitsu, you're, it's kind of a human chest or a human puzzle. Okay. Your opponent is giving you problems and you have to solve your way through them to immobilize your opponent and then get the submission or uh, the immobilization depending on what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, we learn a lot of um, tenacity, endurance, mental toughness because you're put in very difficult positions. Okay. A lot of people when they're faced with difficult positions, they tend to break down and they, they quit on themselves, even though mentally they can push further. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I hope that answers your question. And before I saw, some, when I was passing by, mm -hmm. I saw some adults coming in and um, doing jujitsu. Isn't there an age limit for jujitsu? There's no age limit to jujitsu. Uh, we have. We have students from four years old up until I think our oldest student is in his late 50s. Wow. Late 50s, yes, sir. So especially the way that we train here, it's, uh, we, we try to preserve our students' uh, physical body. So we're not putting them through the toughest training every day. We want them to learn the techniques and get proficient in those techniques. Mm -hmm. And it's said that a small and um, a small person ca that knows jujitsu can over can defeat and overcome um, a bigger and stronger opponent. Is that true? And if so, can you tell us more about that? Yes, thank you for asking. Um, with jujitsu, because like we were saying earlier, it's not mainly physical. You're using 
leverage, you're using angles, you're using uh, weight distribution and off balancing to defeat your opponent. So in this case, a smaller person can defeat a larger person. Um, and this is proven by the origins of this style of Jiu Jitsu is, dates back to uh, Brazil with the Gracie family and uh, Elio Gracie, who was one of the originators of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He defeated many larger men with the proficiency he had in these techniques. Mm -hmm. And my last question <coughs> is, um, so can you show us a few um, um, Jiu Jitsu moves? Yes, we can work on uh, a couple uh, techniques here. What we tell our kids is, if you're encountered with that bully, you tell them right away, I don't want to fight, but I will defend myself. Mm -hmm. And then you ask them, are you challenging me to a fight? So now it puts the bully in a situation, am I going to fight this person or not, mm -hmm. right? If they say no, then you let them know. Then leave me alone, you let them know, create witnesses so everyone knows this guy does not want to fight, he's just running his mouth. Okay. So now, for the uh, for the demonstration, we'll start here. Okay. Give me a good base. Okay. Which whichever leg you want to step backwards, and you want your hips lower, so you bend your knees slightly. Cause, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab your wrist, and I'm gonna pull you away. Is this good? Um, yeah. For, if I pull you away, do you want me to? Do you want to come with me? No. No. Right. So what you want to do is widen your base, make your base wider, not super wide. Perfect. Now bend your, bend your knees so your weight is lower because your center of gravity is going to be in your hips. So you lower that. And now if I pull you this way, where do you want your weight to be? Forward or back? Um, back. Perfect. So can I pull your weight here? Go more, lean, more, lean, more. Perfect. Right? So now I can't pull you away. Right? Now get your good base. If I try to push you into a room or into a car, which way are you leaning? Backwards or forwards? Perfect. So. Grip break here, I pull you away, there's your base, right? Now, how do you get rid of this connection? Elbow, forward. Be careful not to hit yourself in the face. Okay, perfect. So for here, the basic technique here, if I grab your wrist, I pull. Where's your base, where's your base, right? Where do you lean? If I pull you this way, you lean away. How do you break the connection? Elbow, forward, drive it forward. Drive it forward here, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, ah, okay. Drive, 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 boom, okay? So, for this grip, that technique works. If I grab you like this, where are we going? Oh, okay. How do you disconnect? Different, right? Because now the structure of this grip is different. Does that make sense? Look mm -hmm. at the four fingers on top. When the thumb is on top, elbow forward. Drive it forward, elbow forward, elbow forward, good. It's easier because it's only one thing. But you There's know. one finger. <gasps> you drive it down? It's because the thumb's not on? No, no that doesn't work. Down? No. Okay, so what I want you to do, stab yourself in the chest. Boom. Now I want you to cover that fist with your other hand and hold it to your chest super tight. Okay, see where your elbow is compared to my arm? Mm -hmm. Is it below or above? Um. Below. Okay. Bring your elbow above my forearm and now push your elbow forward. Oh my god, that works so good. Right? Okay. So, again, if I grab you this way, let's go. There's your base, right? There's your weight. Where's your fist go? Chest. Support. Elbow where? Up. Drive, 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 drive. Did you feel what happened when you push your elbow forward? Mm -hmm. What happened to my fingers? They, they lost their grip. Okay, so you're using that leverage to defeat that connection of my grip. Does that make sense? Mm hmm How much power did you use? Well, not much. How fast did you have to go? Not very fast. Did it still work? Yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. You ready? You mm -hmm. want to go over a couple more reps? Um, to make yeah. sure you got Let's it? Let's just do it again. Yeah. Okay. All right. So hang up. <laughs> I don't want you to expect it. Now what? Go! <laughs> right? One more time? Okay, we're gonna go with the other one. Do you want to do the same one or the different one? The other one. The other one? Okay. So, here's a question for you.
you. I've got one hand, right? Go elbow forward, elbow forward, elbow forward, <laughs> forward, forward, good. Go. Can you do it? It's harder, right? Because now you're working one arm versus the strength of two arms. So, uh, but couldn't you, uh, no, you can't use your other arm or you'll lose your, because you said you'll lose your balance. Let's see. Okay, get your base. But now look at, I don't have the same pull with one uh, hand as I have two. Now I'm here. Do you feel, do you feel more uh, stable there when I sit with two arms? Yeah. Yes? So this is what I want you to do. Here, grab my wrist, just like I did to you. Okay? No, stand up. Get your balance, okay? So here, I'm gonna get my base, right? Mm -hmm. To defeat this, because it's two on one. Mm -hmm. Is that a fair fight? No. Here, just grab the wrist right here, where my watch would be. So what do I need to do to fight your two arms? I bring in my <laughs> other, other arm. arm. Okay. I wanna do the same technique, elbow forward, but I just grab my wrist. And then you pull it back. No. no. Like, no, you just pull your arm back and then they lose. I push my elbow forward still. Okay, so from here, I'll grab my wrist, push the elbow forward. <laughs> right, let's try. Yeah, can I try? Yes. So here, get your base, get your base, get your base, okay? Make a fist, don't pull your hand. See, see how your wrist pulls like this? It's because you're pulling your wrist. All you're doing is holding your fist in place. Yes, that's the difference. So if I go two hands, here we go. Boom, get your base, get your base. Now what, two on one, now what, elbow forward. Perfect. That's it, good job. How was that? That was good. Yeah? Thank you. Thank for you your very time. Much. Very good. You're going to have a little uh, uh, redness in the wrist <laughs> because of friction, but it should go away. Bye. I hope this works out. Perfect. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. Now, I hope you've learned something from this video. Bye.